You would think they would kind of hope. You would hope they would try to hold that as a high regard, but now it just don't even look like. Yeah, they're taking away the ciphers. That used to be like one of the main. That was the main thing. That, that was the main highlights for, for that. Like these motherfuckers can't rap. They can't rap. Yeah. They can't rap. But, they suck. But, but hold on. But but that but that was how you kind of cross pollinated the commercial hip hop with the yep. underground yep. Right. because you know this award all... show is going to be about the numbers and yep. the popularity yep. but, but the real rap Watch you know what I'm saying is the yeah. ciphers and, and it was cool because they always brought it in like after the break you know what I'm saying so it's like hey just stay tuned we're gonna, and we're going to get a whole bunch of them we're going to get at least four or five then in hip hop conversations man covering hip hop culture for 13 plus years no politics no BS today we're talking about the BET Hip Hop Awards. Do they need a fade away? First and foremost, we didn't even know that it was happening. Nobody. Like, like there was no promotion. That's and, crazy, bro. Yeah, because I think they they originally shot it on the eighth, and then it it, 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 sh- it aired was, um, it aired like a week later or something like that. So okay. yeah, no promotion, no nothing. No promotion. No nothing. Uh, Vegas. Yeah, it was yeah. in Vegas. In the Vegas club. In a club. You say like typically it happens in Atlanta and it happens. I want to say it's at the Fox, right? Like but but the club be big, big, though. No, the club was big, oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it gave it, off like the... It didn't come off like a war show. It looked like yeah. you were in a club. I yeah. think they were just trying to be creative. But, yeah, well, that shit was not creative. <laughs> and also, I don't know the audience that they were trying to go for because Fat Joe hosted it and he came out to make it rain. And to, in my personal opinion, that song has not aged. Gracefully. <laughs> Why did Fat Joe come out to make it rain? I, I don't. It's probably his biggest song. That's what I was going to ask. It's, it's I thought probably, Lean Back was. Or that one. Yeah, I don't think Wait, Lean Back would be his biggest. No, I think Lean yeah, Back would be his biggest song. Yeah. What's that song? I don't, I don't know uh, it. Now lean Back. I, make it, I think it's featuring Lil Wayne. Yeah, right? it's featuring Lil yeah. Wayne. If you hear it, you would know it. I swear to God, if you hear it, you'd be like, oh, yeah, I remember it. Like, you and me. I swear you will. But what else is Fat Joe going to come out to besides Lil Wayne? Lean Back. Lean back. That's, that's, it, that's, that's, the one, that's the one you need to come out to. Um, but either way, <laughs> having Fat Joe host it to me kind of like what what audience are you are you really trying to appeal to, right? Because Fat Joe was hot when we was you know outside, but like damn near twenty years ago. Yeah, but we, uh, is a host really that important? And you probably was the only one that accepted. He could have came out to all the way up. All the way up would have been. That's yeah. the one. That's more modern. That's the one, that's the one that do. All yeah, the way up. Yeah. Yeah. Remy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It sounds like an intro. Like yeah, it sounds yeah. like a. Yeah. But either way, uh, Ken, I think the host is somewhat important. I think the song that he decided to come out to felt a little outdated. Uh, and even the performance itself felt a little lackluster. And just the venue in and of itself just didn't feel like a typical award show. Yeah, but it's probably. Audiences my age or a little bit younger. I mean, I look at the people winning these awards are not Fat Joe's age. And you got so you got people like Soldier Boy performing. Yeah, like Soldier Boy. Yeah, so yeah, that makes sense. Soldier Boy. Okay, well, yeah, I get what y'all saying. Right, <laughs> it, it just I don't know. It feels year after year feels a little bit more disjointed. Exactly. Yeah. Disjointed, disconnected to the point where there's not even the ciphers anymore. Yeah, they've, been saying, like, yeah. they've, been, they've been saying that about like the festivals too. Like yeah. I think it just in hip hop in general, it just doesn't have doesn't know what it is right now. Uh oh. Mm. I don't think hip hop knows what it is. What you about to say, Ken? <laughs> oh shit. Ken Spears. Nas back, man. <laughs> hip hop is dead. Man, Nas is back, bro. He's dead, Ken. Oh man, I think we're in trouble. Oh man! I don't think we. In, I think we in trouble on a commercial level. Like that's that's what I feel yeah, like. Underground. That's is important, but that's mm-hmm. I know it's important. And see, this, this was and this, yeah. And yeah, we do need to revisit yeah. it. So that's what people like. While we love underground music, it is still imperative for for like mm-hmm. commercial to have success. Mm-hmm. We like we always said. I mean, he's been preaching it for forever. Like you know what I'm saying. You need was, both. No, 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 <laughs> you need the balance. And he's right. He's been right. You can't just have that one thing. You just can't have yeah. the hip of the y'all. Like we love it. Don't get me wrong, but how much would that sustain if if we don't have the commercial success? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so, but I, but I think like, and you can kind of look at the BET Awards mm-hmm. as a as a, um, a byproduct of that. Yeah. To yeah. a certain degree, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 No, for sure. Because you would think something that you know. You would think they would kind of hope. You would hope they would try to hold that as a high regard, but now it just don't even look like. 
Yeah. They taking mm-hmm. away the ciphers. That used to be like one of the main that highlights. That was the main thing. That, that was the main highlights for. for that. Like these motherfuckers can't rap. They can't rap. rap. They can't rap. But, they but, suck. But hold on. But but that but that was how you kind of cross pollinated the commercial hip hop with the yep. underground. Yep. Right. Because you, you know this award show is going to be about the numbers and yep. the popularity. Yep. The but the real rap, you know, what I'm saying is the ciphers. Yeah. And, and it was cool because they always brought it in like after the break. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey, just stay tuned. We go, mm-hmm. And we're going to get a whole bunch of them. We're going to get they, at least four or five of them. And see, mm-hmm. what they should have been doing is like bringing them same artists on them stages too. Don't just have them in the cypher. Yeah, they yeah. probably was just like, fuck y'all. Y'all yeah. don't want to put it on stage. We ain't yeah. no cypher for yeah. y'all ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably what it is, really, real talk. It's like, and I wouldn't blame them. I mean, of yeah. course you'll get more eyes on you, but you, you know, but... But it's a respect thing. It's a respect and, thing. And, and, yeah, and yeah. I feel like that was one of the things that I took away yeah. because I, I I wasn't able to watch the whole thing. I just saw snippets here and there, you know, different mm-hmm. performances. And even on BT's YouTube channel, they don't have the full mm-hmm. thing, which yeah. I don't. That don't make yeah. sense. They've done, they've done a, a very bad job with, with marketing and promoting. They and have. Yeah. Trying to kill but, <laughs> but it feels it feels like the it's dis- not owned by black people anymore. It's not it's not owned by black mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But for me, it felt like just the disrespect of hip hop just continues to go further. And I remember uh, last year how KRS One was talking about you know the fifty years of hip hop and how some of these stages and publications want to you know honor, but y'all not calling me and I'm KRS fucking what like like what well, is you just criticize Fat Joe? Imagine yeah. what you would say if KRS One got up there. No, but can't, but 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 again, with a cane. What I talk about is, is is the balance. And here's the thing: I don't think that Fat Joe was ultimately the wrong. I just I criticized the song he came out to. I definitely think the one with Remy Ma all the way up. You know, saying was a better selection. But at the end of the day, Ken, I feel like the BET Awards, hip hop award, the hip hop mm-hmm. awards, both of them, they both kind of yeah. I feel like once upon a time it was something that we kind of looked forward to. You know what I'm saying? Even not even if it wasn't the whole award show, there were pockets of it. Yeah. I mean, we used to review the ciphers, bro, when we started doing dead hand We used to always used to review them. Slaughterhouse, yep. fucking Eminem and Black Dog, you know, like yeah, T E, like, yeah, we used to literally be like, okay. We know when BT Hip Hop Wars come on, we go and review the Cypress, we watch mm-hmm. the Cypress, and we talk about it. But know? that's us, though. Yeah, I'm just talking about, like, on, a, on, a on everybody's scale. Yeah. 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 It's not hidden like it, like it was. It's yeah. not. It's not. And, and, and again, like, at this point with where BT went with it, it just feels like, why even do it? Well, it's, it's well, I, I don't know how much money they make off of it, but clearly it's low priority for them, which is why you got such a lackluster thing. I don't know who's in charge with it. But they're not tapped in. So if it's owned by a corporation, a corporation isn't part of the culture like that. So, you know, and and they probably got rid of the cipher for budget cuts. They probably got rid of the cipher because people don't want to go to uh, the BET Hip Hop Awards because it's been falling off and it doesn't really matter anymore. Mm-hmm. So I think all of those could be be factors in in this decision. Like Especially when you, we knew that it wasn't even marketing, they just started putting clips out. So if it doesn't matter, if if the, if the hip hop awards don't matter, if the BT awards don't matter, if the Grammys don't matter, then what matters? I think the Grammys still carry weight, and I think they still but matter. Hip-hop, but but hip hop, you know, for, for a lot of hip hop artists, still boycott the Grammys though. Not a lot. The way nah, it ain't, it ain't a lot. But um, I mean, Kendrick won like what eight. Eight awards, eight for eight house, right? Eight for eight. So the categories are hip hop artist of the year, song of the year, uh, album of the year, hip hop video, uh, best breakthrough hip hop artist, best collab, best duo or group, best live performer, lyricist of the year, video director, producer of the year, DJ of the year. Those are the awards you want? No, no, no. no, 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 These are just all of the, these are all of the ones. (laughs) <laughs> uh, Hustler of the Year, Sweet 16, Best Featured Verse of the Year, Impact Track, Best International Flow. So, what the fuck are these categories? Africans are mad because they ain't getting an award. You saw that? No, I, didn't I saw that. that. Yeah, it was, but a couple were mentioned and nominated, but they didn't get an award. They were like, oh, yeah, we didn't get shit. Was wow. Burner Boy mentioned? Yeah, I think he may have been one, but yeah, they didn't. They were like, "Yo, we didn't get an award." So, hip hop artist of the year, right? So, I'll, I'll go through some of these and, and, and list the nominations and who won. Uh, Hip Hop Artist of the Year nominees are 21 Savage, Cardi B, Drake, Future, Glorilla, Meg Thee Stallion, and Nicki Minaj. Kendrick won that without a 
put out a fucking project. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah, you, you, and you know, out of those names, who who's even close in that category? Hip hop artist of the year? No, I, I, I think you could have you could have made an argument for Drake or Future. Drake's done. What are we talking about? <laughs> but this was this is <laughs> <laughs> this is for me. This is for me, man. This is me. You can't get Drake this is for me, man. You can't get it, Drake. You can't get it, Drake. Drake does not deserve an award for no. anyone. Okay. <laughs> Song of the year. Uh, we got Agora Hills by Doja Cat. Uh, bet by Forty One. I don't even Forty One. Not Forty. Not 42. 42. Not 42. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I caught myself. Yeah, I don't know who 41 is. Bro, uh, we got Fiend by Travis Scott Feature, Playboy Cardi, FTCU okay. by Nicki Minaj, mm-hmm. Get a Sexy, Sexy Red, uh, Like That, Future Metro Boomin, Future Kendrick Lamar, Mabushi. Oh, oh, yeah, uh, that's the Nicki Minaj. No, 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 that's the Nicki Minaj. The, 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 the Meg yeah. song. That yeah. shit is huge. Yeah, it is. I like that song. Super viral. Oh, that's the, is that the one that she had, like, the, the feature? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 I got you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we got Yeah, Glow. Uh, the winner was Kendrick would not like us. Of course. Of course. Of course. But, but I think there are contenders there, though. No, I, think, well, I, think, I think the Meg song is a contender. The Sexy Red song, I think, is a contender yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Yeah, Glow, I think those are contenders, but, you See, know. This, this is where I agree with you, where the disconnect in hip-hop is at. Right, especially when we're talking about hip hop as a whole, not just commercially. But hip hop album of the year nominees: American Dream by Twenty One Savage, Everything okay. Everything by Glorilla, For All uh-huh. the Dogs, Scary Hours Edition by Drake, and okay. Sexy We Trust, Sexy Red, huh? Megan <laughs> Megan The Stallion, One of okay. One Gunna, uh, okay. Pink Friday Two, Nicki Minaj, Utopia, mm-hmm. Travis Scott, We Don't Trust You, Future okay. Metro Movement. You okay. want to guess who won? Um, we don't Nikki? trust. You. Nikki one? No. You gotta guess. Pink Friday two, bro. Yeah, they probably like, here you go, Nikki. Oh, they ain't want any shit. Yeah, that was it. That was <laughs> right, it. That, that's, that was, that's, that's why I guess Nikki and I. And they probably like, here you go, Nikki. Like, all right, shut the fuck up, damn. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, 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 it's a, that's a major disconnect out yeah. of where hip hop is right shit, now. Shit, for you. But for they, the they connected. They were like, hey. People were liking that album. And they did yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm about to say, she well, had some joints on there. Yeah. But yeah, people mm. were like, come on. Didn't she have a big tour off the album, too? I'm not sure. I think so. I'm yeah. Sure. I, 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 well, I, I know she's like in the top, like, 10 as far as like highest gross and rap toys, mm-hmm. but I can't remember I, if that's yeah. what recent. I didn't like it, but what I was hearing before I listened to it was that it was pretty good. Yeah, that's and then I listened to it. So, right. Yep. I, did, <laughs> I didn't do that second part. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, like the Damn. people that perform. You said you talk about the people that perform. Did you say that already? Uh, a little bit. I just talked about so two, two chains. Two chains. Yeah. Three three one zero baby or something like yeah. that. Mm. He was nominated for big, best breakthrough hip hop artist. Big boogie. That's the one. Big boogie. With, yeah. That? Big boogie with uh with Glorilla. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah she I came out. She came out on stage with Boss Man D Lo. E forty performed. Glorilla, Juicy J, Roscoe Dash. Wow, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I forgot. Soulja Boy brought Roscoe Dash, yeah. Yeah, Soulja Boy, Trina, and Young Miami. Like, those, that was Young the Miami? performance. Yeah, that, that's what, that, like, those were the yeah, performance. Yeah, what she been, yeah. Well, what she, what she, she gonna perform? Quiet. Put, 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 put ass to sleep in those notes, that's what she gonna say. Right. That calendar must have <laughs> been Oh, she, so she, she, she performed with, look like Trina, like, Trina and Young Miami performed with Melody of Hits. So okay, it's I like can see a, that. It's like a Miami type of connection. Okay, so like, basically, it's probably for some of the audience, you know, just give yeah. y'all some some love, you know. Yeah. Because they ain't gonna know three one ten or three one zero or whatever that is, maybe is. Hey, but look, I, I'll talk about the, the, the best breakthrough hip hop artist. So the nominees were forty one. Never heard of that dude. Three Ten Baby, Boss Man D'Lo, Cash Cobain, Lady London, Sexy Red, Skilla Baby, and Tommy Richmond. Probably Sexy Red. Sexy Red one. <laughs> yeah. Remember we had I remember we had a conversation earlier was it this year we was, we was at the old studio and I think it was like a list of like the female rappers or something and y'all was mad that Sexy Red was like number two or something like that yes mm-hmm. <laughs> bro Sexy Red is fucking everywhere bro yeah. regardless if you like her music or not and that's what I, was I remember talking. people was arguing y'all was kind of like Sexy Red this, I'm like bro y'all Sexy Red so, is it's fucking everywhere so, so to clarify I do remember that conversation yeah because people was in the comment section just like you know God, I think we got a little too focused on 
personal preference as far as like who we think is and a that, better artist. And, that, that's, and that's not what the list is about. Like, yeah, the list I was, was like, strictly like who's the hottest it. artist. Yeah. Sexy Red is fucking everywhere, bro. So her, I think she was number two. I want to say it was like Nicki Minaj, Sexy Red, and y'all was like, man, how is she over these? I'm like, bro, Sexy. Regardless, if we might not care for her music at all. Sexy Red is fucking everywhere, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, and she's definitely like, you know, branding herself. Like, make, like she has a lot of deals with a lot of different brands and stuff like that. So, bro, when I saw it was a slight like, fall off. I'm telling y'all, it was like a slight fall off. And I thought, yeah, people weren't really feeling her like that anymore. Mm-hmm. And then now they started feeling her again. Right. So, I saw her on that, WWE. I was like, God. Yeah. Damn. It was that, that mixtape. Mm-hmm. wasn't all that good but she got a couple of bangers on it yeah, yeah. that went for her yeah and in the in the space she's in that's really what she, that's all she commercial. needs mm-hmm. that's all she needs mm-hmm. there's a couple of big singles and so she yeah, good her winning breakthrough art is not surprising that that get them yeah. sexy or whatever it's called that shit yeah. <laughs> that was she, you kept singing it in the video <laughs> when we shot the video <laughs> you were like why is sexy red this high and you get it sexy you like what me he was only saw he, he was only saw she that was only saw he was singing <laughs> Why she was ranked so hard, so high, but he wasn't singing all the other ladies' song in there. He kept singing her sexy red shit. Uh, BT, uh, and I don't know if they were just doing this to kind of save face or I don't know, uh, right some wrongs, but Alchemist definitely got his flowers. Oh, okay. So he won producer of the year and DJ of the year. Oh, okay. So he won producer of the year over ATL Jacob, Cash Kobe, Hit Boy, Hit Maker, Metro Boom, and Pete Rock, and Q Tip. Mm, so that's that's when is Metro Boomin upset about that? I feel, I feel, I feel like if you're a producer, you can't be. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, uh, but, but him, but he got. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know, I know. You I know, released I know. two albums with, with pretty future. much the biggest artists in the game. Yeah, and then you like that, you know, like that is everywhere. Yeah. You produce that, like, yeah, yeah I'm kind of because I'm pretty sure he's looking at like, well, shit. Yeah, commercial wise, he's probably on a commercial. You know, yeah, he's yeah, probably yeah. did bigger numbers than Alchemist, but. But, yeah, but how does this have an impact? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah but so, Metro's impact is way bigger than Alchemist. On the comer- on the com- in the commercial thing, yeah. But hip hop, I don't know. I don't know, kid. So look, DJ of the Year, these are the people that <laughs> Alchemist went over. Rams. He did. D- DJ of the Year, this is who Alchemist went over. Big Vaughn, never heard of Big Vaughn. DJ D Nice, DJ Drama, DJ Khaled, K Trinata, Metro Movement, and DJ Mustang. They call me D Nice. When did he? What? What? Uh, what has he DJ? He's Eminem's tour DJ. Still? Yeah. But I'm trying to think. Is he, I'm trying to think. Is he DJ anything this year? Like, has he been that's on tour? I don't, I don't DJ? know him as a yeah. DJ. Like, I, so that's why I'm really surprised that he won a DJ award. Yeah. Producer, what I'm not. Not too surprised about it. Yeah, tap- and especially yeah. over mustard that had not like us. Yeah, yeah but mustard mm-hmm. also released that album. Ah, yeah. Yeah. We got crickets, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, boy, yeah. damn. Yeah, yeah that shit was crickets. Yeah, and, and I'm like, kind of surprised. This album is not like that. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of. Like I'm kind of yeah, surprised. No, 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 I, I, get I out. <laughs> gonna, I thought it was going to do a little better, just yeah. coming off the like that, yeah, you know. Nah, but nah, damn. Nah, nah, nah. So Sky D three sixty five were uh, your daily dose of music content, but. Um, Best hip hop platform. Uh, this was interesting. So they had Bootleg Kev, mm-hmm. Club Shay Shay, Complex, I'm Drink Champs, Million Dollars Worth of Game, Shea. On the Radar, Shea. Breakfast Club, Joe Shea. Budden Podcast, no, The, the Shay Room, Double XL. Who do you think won, Kev? That ain't hip hop. <laughs> <Right. laughs> of course. I think Club Shay Shay won. Uh, what, you named two of the Club Shay Shay, which was it? Complex, Drink Champs, Million Dollars Worth of Game, On the Radar, Breakfast Club, Million Dollars Worth of Game. Even though On the Radar is blown up this year. Yeah. Who you say? Oh, shit. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Club Shay Shay. Yeah. The That's Cat why, Williams, bro. How? Bro, the Cat Williams interview. I mean, I know it's not, it's not hip-hop centric. It's not, yeah. hip-hop, it's not a hip-hop centric show. So I get it. I see your argument. But no, Club, the Cat Williams alone. That, that, that shit going, that shit, that shit. It was the avalanche for 2024, bro. Yeah, they, they had to make the Stallion interview that, that had some own stuff. Uh, yeah, had some stuff on it. So yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I guess they could argue artists, with. They could, but yeah, yeah, you think hip hop shit? Yeah, million dollars worth of game. That's kind of hip hop centric. On the radar um, is on, huge. Yeah, on the radar, uh, drink champs is hip hop centric. So yeah, you would think a more club so, is not necessarily. He's more pop, more like a, yeah, like a cultural type of thing, not mm-hmm. like hip hop. Mm-hmm. How, how how many views do you think that the Cat Williams interview got as of right now? A hundred something. Yeah, probably like 80 something million, 90 something million. B is on it today. I don't know what the fuck B is. I said 100 and I said 90. You said 80 something. It's 80 million. Oh, okay. That's crazy. Yeah. 
V is it's on it right today. Right, yeah. Um, Hustler of the year. How do y'all feel what about that? What the hell is that? What is that? That's always been a confusing category for me. They have that. That's not new. Okay. BT always had Hustler of the year, but I, yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So uh, these are the nominees 50 Cent, ASAP Rocky, Cam and Mace. Cardi B, Drake, Fat Joe, Glorilla, Kendrick. Okay, I get it. Probably multiple streams. Yeah, I get it. I say fifty. Uh, it was fifty. It was Rocky, Cam, Cam and Mace. Cam, Cam and Mace. Cam and Mace. Mace. That's a good one. Fifty one. Fifty got too many things. Yeah. He got his yeah. hands in so many. The, the star stuff. shit. Yeah. The, yeah, he yeah. Only nigga that's doing stuff like him is Shaq. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. He's got the hands so much different shit. So that Cam and Mason was a good one though. That was a good game. Yeah. So Kendrick won uh Sweet Sixteen Best Featured Verse. Oh yeah. For, for like, like that. that. Yeah. He won Impact Track for not like yeah, us. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah, nobody else. <laughs> well, what are the other ones right. going? Let's get to that. I, 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 all these I, other categories that. That, that that was that was pretty much everything. I, yeah. I mean, Impact I'm, Track. Eight, 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 eight. Sweet Sweet Sixteen. Okay. He won. Uh, he won lyricist of the year too. He won video director of the year. Okay. Uh, him and Day Free. Then he like won this. lyricist of the year. Right. Okay. Uh, right. He won three. best collab. Okay, with Metro for for, okay. Yeah, yeah. for for yeah. like that makes yeah. sense. Song he, of the year, of course. He won he best hip hop video for not like us. Okay. He won like song of the year. year yeah. Okay, hip hop artist of the year. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, that set this whole shit up, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> but overall, man, I, I feel you know. Shout out to Kendrick, man. Shout out to PG Lane. Shout out to TDE. Shout out to you know the whole West Coast, man. Like whenever Kendrick step out, he definitely show niggas. You know what I'm saying? He, he definitely do that. Um, Is he gonna show everybody his artists? With Baby King, when he gonna pop out? I don't know. I don't know, maybe he'll pop out maybe on Kendrick's album. album. Yeah. You know, everybody is awaiting that Kendrick album. You know, we're also pretty sure that it's going to happen somewhere around the Super Bowl. You know, he's just waiting, which is great marketing, great promo. And he's, I think, I, yeah, I thought some of us now, Sonny, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but he's doing like a stadium tour probably after this. Yep. Yeah. That's all something like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 If he comes to Atlanta, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, we need to we need to go as a crew. Hell yeah. We definitely need to go as a crew. Shit, we did it for Donda. We yeah. definitely need to do it for Kendrick. I ain't going to that. Yeah, we, <laughs> we were invited to that. Yeah, we was invited to that. We were invited to that. Hey, Kendrick, if you watch it, man, invite us, bro. Just said, put us on the list, man. Real quick, does BET need to continue with their award show, yes or no? I mean, I, I think it's still important just to keep the culture alive, like to have these award shows, these hip hop award shows. So, Sure. I, I don't think it's their fault. I think it's the, the, the work that's being put out. I don't think it's I don't think it's hip. So you think it's hip hop's fault? I, I think it's the the, the, the caliber of artists. I, I won't even say hip hop fault, but I'm just saying like I don't know if the right people are being pushed right now or if people are inspired right or now. Or it's I, right I people invested in it. Yeah, or people invested in it. I don't, I, I don't think it's I don't think it's any of that. I think okay. that whoever is pulling the strings for this they're they're not tapped in for what for 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 the show so viacom or bt or like like they, i don't think they're they're doing the best job possible well, i feel like name five people you would put in, uh, in this uh show five people i would have put in the show on a big scale Shit, hold on let me go to my uh my library room. but you remember when we were doing the list like that uh pitchfork created mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have too many popular artists that we could have added so we was just like, I think they pretty much got that right. Only thing, only artists we were adding was like more mostly like underground type people. I don't think there are popular artists right now. They're like so, they're so, having a hard time putting together a big a new big three. Boss man, big ass the plug yep. is another one. They already had glow there. Satsy is four, mm, and man. it's like they're good, they're big, but they're not like big three level big. They're not like super. Stars. Okay, but, 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 but that's fine. But they're popular, yeah. and, 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 that, and that's what I'm saying. I don't feel like like they're plugged in because I feel like. But the D Lo was there. And Mexican OT. Throw Mexican OT in there. That's I thought five. D Lo was there though. He was. He was. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll give you five. Benzo I, Curry. <laughs> there, there, there's a nah, I'm talking about. Uh, nah, I mean, I, he, feel yeah, it, I think he's good. Yeah. Okay, so, but I don't think on a, on a popularity. 
But but what I'm saying, what, Rob, what I'm saying is this is the reason why they're not plugged in. I feel like there are commercial people. There are people that are almost commercial, right? Uh, like Denzel Curry. I feel like he's on the cusp of crossing over to that stratosphere. Um, and then you got people like Mexican OT. Like, like, they, like hip-hop encompasses so much that BT just misses out on it. Good peasy on that motherfucker. All black trucks, motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. You listen to that peasy no, I, I, don't know, man. <laughs> no, I just don't think I just don't think I, I just don't think the uh the big artists are there right now. Outside of the, the They're in development. But I yeah, think this is a conversation. We have to have this conversation. Yeah. It, it, it's time. So so okay, for you. No, I think it needs to go under new management. Um mm -hmm. that's what that's what I think. And somebody has to document this stuff. They're still black entertainment television, so they still have to document what's going on in, in, in blackness. But uh, at the same time, BET as a whole is irrelevant. It's just a legacy brand, mm -hmm. and it's yeah. going to stay around and just point, continue yeah. to do what they do. It is a legacy brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, be it. I would say you just bring the cyphers back. Bring back. <laughs> just, I just want the cyphers back. I want some good. Get you can. You, they can find out some tap in and some good artists mm -hmm. to do these cyphers, bro. It's some. It's some dope artists they can tap in. They can still be like what you mentioned. So plug in some of the underground. There's some dope artists out there can do still do some ciphers, man. So bring the ciphers back. I would love it's to crazy. see Ransom on one of those. They, they'll, you know the ciphers will be back next year. They're gonna hear about this. They'll they bring them back next year. Yeah, that's that's the main conversation that's on the table yeah. right now. Yeah. And and you two are right. Um, going to to show cultural relevance would be going to get the ransoms and all these mm -hmm. underground independent artists to do the oh, ciphers geez. to represent that era, mm -hmm. that that side of the mm -hmm. the culture. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. You already know what I'm going to say, man. Conversation after the conversations in the comment section. Let us know how you feel. Hit us up on social. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. What do y'all feel about the BT Awards, man? You know, I know we've been down on it for years on years, and but it feels like this is a new bottom. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all feel that way? Do y'all feel it was an amazing thing? Because I've seen that out there in the stratosphere as well. People like what they did with the club. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we did over here, but it is what it is, man. Let us know. We'll catch you next time. We out. Peace. Peace.